broke back the time now 656 and here are your top headlines as you head out the door. A Morgantown Arts Organization hosted a grant writing workshop and public comment to discuss how best to promote the arts here in West Virginia. Arts Monagalia hosted the workshop in partnership with the West Virginia Commission on the Arts. And around the world are diving into Fallout 76. The professors at WVU want to hear from them. Faculty at the college are conducting a, a study to determine how the new major game release affects gamers' perception of the state. A man is behind bars after a four-month-long drug investigation comes to an end. Deputies with the Braxton County Sheriff's Department through the Drug Task Force say they began an investigation on 41-year-old Waitman Frederick back in July and searched his residence Tuesday. Officials say that during the search they found approximately half a pound of meth, one pound of marijuana, a large sum of cash, and more drug items. Remember the lives lost 48 years ago when the plane carrying the Marshall University football team crashed into a hillside in Canova in Wayne County. Coming off the team's 14 to 17 loss against East Carolina, the plane was traveling back to Huntington later that evening when it clipped a strand of trees before crashing. This today's show and Good Morning America, Michael Avenatti was released last night after being arrested on a felony domestic violence charge in Los Angeles. He proclaimed his innocence after posting bail, saying the charges against him are completely bogus and that the accusations were fabricated and meant to harm his reputation. And Vice President Mike Pence attended a summit in Singapore. Pence held bilateral meetings of the sidelines of the summit and those stories and more coming up on the Today Show and Good Morning America. But first, here's Scott with another look at your local forecast.